This is hydrogen tap. What you're looking at here is the same battery in the voltage meter that was on it in the last video. As I told you, a number of people have been emailing me telling me that if they leave the battery alone, the voltage will go down. And I've been saying the voltage will go up. Here is the battery several hours later. Same battery. And you decide. What I'm going to do now is do an experiment by putting two plates in the tank and run a pulse through the plates. The idea being that maybe what we can do is, is pulse the water around the plates while they're working to see what that, whether that will bring down the resistance in the water. It would be an interesting test anyway. Okay, I'm back here. Got some real interesting thing going on here. Let's see if that'll do that again. Just turn the pulse system on. by itself. The system going through the air and cell is off. What I've got here, I've got two plates. One over here and one over there. That the pulse system's going through, it's going into the water. And I am getting an interesting reaction. Huh. Well, let's turn on the power to the air and cell. Let's watch the amps. Wow. Okay. Five. Now I'm going to turn the pulse system off. And I'm going to turn it back on again. I'm going to turn it off. I got to turn the uh, hydrogen off. It's too much. I got to wait a minute. There's definitely something going on here. What I've done is I've hooked up two plates, one on the back side here and one over here. They're two 12-inch plates. They go down to there. 
on both sides. You can barely see it. There's one of them. And there's the other one you cannot see. I'm going to keep the pulse system running. I'll turn the pulse system back on. So I got a pulse going through that. The pulse is running at 0 0.07 amps. So it's definitely going through the water. And none of these plates are hooked up right now. Oh, wait a minute. There is one thing that's hooked up. What I'm going to do is take it off the switch. I bet there's a leak in the switch. We'll try it. Okay. Let's see if that stops it. So there's absolutely no current going through the cells right now. Unless it's going... No, it can't be. I've got two batteries. Two separate batteries. There's this battery over here, which was our C battery, and this battery. The batteries are separated. There is no connection to the battery, so the plus of one side cannot be going to the negative of the other. And yet, We're getting action on the cell. I think there's no question about there's action there. So we've got a pulse going through. I'm going to try varying the pulse here. Now I've got less than a tenth of an amp impulse going through it. So what you're seeing is the result of a pulse system going through.